today to teach you how to write a letter to a friend using cursive writing. If you're someone who's learning right now, maybe you're a child and you're working on this skill on your own, um, but maybe you need some reasons to practice it. Well, letter writing is a really great way to practice it. And I also have a whole bunch of other exciting videos on art projects that you can do with some pretty basic supplies that involve cursive writing, just as extra ways to use this new skill that you're learning. But in this video, we're learning how to write a letter to a friend using cursive. So here we go. I always start by making sure that my paper is at an angle. So you can see that I'm sitting here with a table and my paper's at an angle. Cursive always has a really nice slant to it. And one way to do that is to slant your paper while you write so that when you turn it up, it has that nice angle already. That allows you to not have your hand be in an uncomfortable position. So we're gonna start by dating our work. And today is July. Okay, really slow and careful like that. 20th, comma, 2020. What a nice date that is. Looks really good. Okay, and then we're going to write dear. D, you see that nice flow, and then you start back at the bottom. If you're not quite good yet at connecting your letters, dear, and I'm going to write this letter to my friend Katie. Dear Katie, comma, okay, so I can write I skip a line, now I'm going to indent a little bit, how are you, question mark, I, you can say you can write I am fine, these are just letter writing skills that once you practice, you'll get your own flow. How are you? I am fine. You can say what's going on with you in your life. Let's do this. Recently, recently, I have I have been teaching, and you could use the word taking, a, a cursive art class. So you could say, I have been taking a cursive art class, but since I'm teaching it, I'm writing teaching. And you can go on and you can write many more things to your friend and ask more questions. When you finish your letter, when you're all done with all the sentences, you write a closing. Um, you could write, I look forward. to receiving a letter back from you. And then you could say from, you could say love, Sometimes the way I usually sign things is grace. 
and peace. Those are the things that I wish for the people that I'm writing to. Grace and peace, comma, Annie. And of course you would have filled this space with whatever you want to say. This is a really good start to a letter.